munching and marking their trail with silk and pheromones so that late hatchers can find the nest, these caterpillars make their way to a prime location after hatching in the early spring. They overwinter in the eggs and are some of the very first to hatch when temperatures rise. Tent moths get their name from how they build a large silken hive to protect the herd from predators and keep the crew warm during cold spring nights. Of course, all that time spent in the nest means it becomes an excrement net, which isn't exactly attractive. These dirty little caterpillars don't damage their host tree. They may strip the leaves nearby, but those leaves will return in a few weeks' time. It doesn't help the host on cherry, plum, and a few other fruit trees, so some might worry their fruit is in danger. But they'll be moths and gone soon enough. Because they have so many predators, they have a natural response to handle any threat. When something triggers the hair on their body, they aggressively whip from side to side to shoo away attackers. While they may appear to swarm, over a hundred parasitic wasps lay eggs on their eggs and caterpillars. So there are plenty of natural mechanisms to keep their populations in check. 